You took my only coins. Now I can't afford Neymar. Have you ever been in a situation where you go and take a shit after playing a game with one of your friends and he quick sells one of your players, he steals 10,000 of your coins? You know what? Well, if that happens to you, PlayerHot.com has got your back. Cheap, instant, coins and points. Use code ELITE for 2% discount. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Bronze Pack Method Analysis, the science experiment. I'm going to show you guys whether the Bronze Pack Method makes profit or not, but I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to just go ahead and see, oh, it seems like it's, I'm going to fucking prove it, okay? So let's get started. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Drop a like at the end of the video if this helps you out. Here we go. Everyone in their fucking dog has been uploading how to do the Bronze Pack Method. Spoiler Spoiler alert, you open 400 coin bronze pack and sell the cards. That's it. That's the entire method. However, I'm a bit skeptical on really if it works as well as people make it out to be. Every good experiment has a hypothesis. Based on the fact that big YouTubers have been advertising this method, like Bateson, Nepenthes, and Nick28T, they're not gonna lie to you guys. I think it will make profit. But I think it's a bit over exaggerated. I honestly don't think it's going to make enough profit for the amount of time it's going to take for you to list every card on the market, sell every single card, and actually make the profit. It is time for the experiment. Here's pack one and our starting amount of coins is 132,971. I listed every single card that could have possibly sold onto the market for what it could sell for. The non-rare contracts and non-rare fitness cards don't sell 99.9% .9 of the time, so I didn't even bother with those. I checked the price of each player and I checked the price of each consumable, each club item, everything, and listed them up on the market. And after about 20 packs, I filled up my transfer list because naturally most people's transfer list is 30, although you can get more if you wanted to, which I would encourage if you are going to end up doing this method. I'm not 100% sure what it's actually going to end up with because the cards haven't completely sold yet. There's about 40 minutes left on all the cards that I listed up, and I'm just commentating over this after the fact, obviously. But... We are actually selling some things while we um, kept opening packs. We sold a couple of cards. You'll see that at the very end. But again, checking each kit, checking each, each consumable. I ended up packing one Italian player. And because of the Del Piero squad building challenge, we were able to sell that one on for 1,200 coins. You will see that one. That was one of the ones that sold during uh, the pack opening. We're nearing the end. I think I opened around 20 to 30 packs. Ended up listing about 30 items on the transfer list. I, I bet I only opened about 15, actually. And about two per pack I listed up because most of the things did not sell. As you can see, I'm checking there for everything. Most of the time when I checked, there would be cards up for a 200 buy now at two minutes, at four minutes, at five minutes, at seven minutes. So that's when you know they're not going to sell. There's no way. But sometimes you get one where there's a bid of 150. So we definitely listed up anytime we saw there was a bid or simply any time there weren't very many cards listed at a 200 uh, buy now. So there are three cards that sold while we were opening packs. A decent amount of profit on that Italian player. We definitely made good profit on that one, but ultimately not the greatest so far. We'll see what sells within this hour. I will see you guys in about 40 minutes. Quick update, we did get two more players to sell. We've got Motley Henry for 200, Porath for 200, Palor Enrique for 300, Bruskagen for 1,200, and Alves for 300. All right, guys, 10 more things have sold after I cleared out the first five things that you guys just saw, and here they are. We've sold the player training, we sold another player, we sold a player for 800 coins here with Rice, 200 coins, another 400, 200, 200, 200, all the way across at 200 and we are into the profit zone we now have 133,383 now I did go out and buy some players because I got bored I was sniping these guys for some profit because of the other tournament but ignore that the profit right now you guys can see on the screen plus we've still got a few minutes left with a couple of more things to sell so let's see how much total profit we can make that was like the longest hour of my life, but it's finally over and we can check how much profit 
we made on all of these bronze packs and list them up on the market. We have six things sold, adding to the amount that we already have, which is 452 coin profit, plus 200, plus 200, plus 200, plus 700, plus 200, plus 250. That leaves us with about 2,200 coin profit in total. Adding on what we get to quick sell each card for, 3 coins, 13 coins, 104 coins, 13 coins, 12 coins, 48 coins, 12 coins, 13 coins, and 47 coins. Finishing it off with the numbers, we had 132,931 coins to start. We made it to 135,448 coins. That means our profit is 2,517 coins. Considering it took over an hour for me to do this experiment, it really isn't worth it. I think that my hypothesis was 100% correct on the fact that it did make me profit, but ultimately it wasn't really worth the time that I put into it. You guys can take it how you want. Ultimately, it's a pack and it comes down to luck. I did not pack any of those really demanded squad building challenge players from Sydney FC, from Manchester City, from England, and all these squad building challenges like the Liga Portuguesa, but it's still, even if you pack those, it takes a lot of time and there's a lot of better methods that, that work even better, you know what I'm saying? So, I did another method during this video. I went and just sniped Manchester City players. Within 5-10 to 10 minutes, I made the exact same amount of profit that I did with the bronze pack method. So, the bronze pack method, in conclusion, it's overrated, it's overhyped, it's over-exaggerated, and I don't think that it's a good method. If this helps you out at all, guys, be sure to drop a like. Also, subscribe to the channel. I'm not fucking around. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out!